flying object. Shion. Whoa, whoa! Guardian Dragon, whoa! Yo, it's your boy Betty, and today we are back with more slime. So, without further ado, hit the like and subscribe button, especially if you are enjoying videos like this. And yes, let's get into some slime. Episode 19. Episode 19, titled Festival Eve. That guy, that guy really does look like the Monopoly man, though. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's the nose for me. I think that's what it is. A civilized demon lord of death, bro. Mm. Kampai. So this is just the calm before the storm, I imagine. Yeah, they all seem to be vibing, to be fair. Oh, Caribdis? Oh. <laughs> I don't know why I thought they cooked the Caribdis up just for as a, as a little side dish or something. Crazy. Oh, we're gonna see how could I get crazy? The swordman shit. Yeah. Oh, he's slick with it. Look at that. Alright. Respect. <laughs> Pretty good. Is everyone scared? Uh, is he gonna show off that he will eat it? Yeah, it's just sushi. Never seen raw fish before. Yeah. There we go, man. A little bit of wasabi on the side, you know what I'm saying? Come on, now. I love sushi. I'm pescatarian, so I only eat fish. And I feel like sushi is just like a... It's always a nice treat when I have some. Oh, is that Hinata? Yo. All right, then. Variety. Hmm, exactly. That's what I mean. You gotta be a bit cultured, you know what I mean? Get out, experiment a little. Get outside your comfort zone. That's how you grow and develop. Hey. In the talk. <laughs> Winning me over, guys. And girls. I just don't trust you. <laughs> Welcome to Tempest. Right. Good and selfie to get room, right? Yeah, every sign for you to think about. Ah, look at him, man. He's just thinking about getting their money. <laughs> That's all he wants. That literally is it. Obviously, salesperson for and through. <laughs> He's thinking about that commission. There we go. Good work. Huh? Flying object? Shion. Whoa, whoa! Guardian Dragon, whoa! Wait, doesn't she want to... Am I right in thinking she wants to marry Rimuru? 
What's that? Why am I making that up? That dragon look crazy cool though. Heavenly Empress. Uh huh. Okay. Oh, it is basically the largest, right? Okay. Thirteen royal family. A descendant of a god. Ah. Ooh, that's cool. Lol. Wow. Okay, so she's really important. And Thalion is also really important. Good that we got that initial kind of agreement, but I guess that was one of the 13 families then that kind of was happy to agree. We still got to get everyone else's agreement then, in theory, no? Uh, like to kind of have an alliance with Tempest, surely. A formidable, crafty opponent. Hmm. Okay. Oh. Nice. Heroic presence. Wow. She almost got. He almost got subjugated. Woo! <laughs> She's cool. I don't know why it's gonna be ghost. <laughs> That's so cool. I love the OST as well. Like the music soundtrack, like, like the choice is perfect. Sorry, I want to go back. I don't want to miss anything. Oh, begins tomorrow. Ooh, making me really nervous. Okay. <laughs> Even I was getting a little nervous, man. God damn. <laughs> That's a joke. <laughs> oh, yeah, watch your mouth, bro. Uh huh. Yeah, she ain't impressed. Look at her. She already knows. Sign is sus. I don't like it. <laughs> She's like, someone's coming for my man. Because <laughs> you know her and Sheena, they have that competition, don't they? Except? No, actually, everything's fine. What are you hiding? You don't recognize? That's not small. No, 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 that's sus. They mentioned that for a reason. I reckon maybe Yuki has something, something planned. Okay. Okay, so the merchants are here and they've infiltrated. Let's keep that in mind, guys. That's definitely going to be a... Is this the hero and those guys? Oh, it's the other demon lords, okay. Million, carry on, and Frey, yeah. Jeez, everyone's looking swaggy. Yo, they brought their uh, higher-ranking officers as well. Oh, I took my with wasabi. Wait, so you know about sushi from the real world too? And she's from one of those families that are, like are conspiring against Tempest. See, this is what I was worried about. Like, the fact that we were welcoming people, opening our doors, meant we were also opening our doors to our enemies. And now, here they are, enjoying our food. Like, wild behaviour. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> a few scary people around there. Damn. The phrase of birdie though. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know t this episode I've been a bit more fasted than usual, but hey, they're showing up. If okay, let me just leave it at that. <laughs> what happened? Oh, snow! <laughs> oh, disrespectful! Rimuru! Rimuru! <laughs> oh, I could never hurt to. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Yeah, I apologize, man. That disrespectful. Look at Rimuru, man. Sensibility. Civility. That's what we love to see. Okay. Oh. <laughs> cool, man. Yep. <laughs> I like how they're whispering. <laughs> Let's go, Shao Shunokun, or Shuna chan, rather. Damn, a lot of pressure. Alright. She in the sway, man, she got it. Huh? Blasphemous things, like what? Yeah, what are you talking about? What, so just eating with your hands? Is that what you're trying to say? Unidentifiable liquids. Bro, it's called seasoning. Add that to, add that to your life, man. It'll give you some flavor, you know what I'm saying? You can't hate on seasoning things up, man. Well, that's so hard to me. You ain't even tried it yet. Bro, chill out, man. <laughs> I'm so angry, he's looking like Piccolo, man. <laughs> Do you know, one thing I would be worried about if I was Rimuru, it's got me thinking about it a little bit, is like, don't, isn't there like issues between monsters and humans? Like, surely. I would be really self-conscious, like, as a monster, I'd be a bit like, okay, we need to really be on our best behaviour, don't act too dramatic, because these guys are kind of expecting the worst and probably assuming the worst, so... I'd be terrified. I'd want everything to go perfectly. If anyone is a bit too loud or anything like that, I'd be well annoyed. Like, that would stress me out. Do you know what I mean? And it's interesting, because right now they've been really chill about it, but I wonder if anything like that will crop up because obviously we know the holy church had a big like authority in this world and obviously they were pushing propaganda about the monsters and so were a lot of different human factions so yeah i'm wondering obviously we haven't seen anything play into that we have seen a bit of you know um i guess what's the word i'm looking for uh, them tread carefully right like the humans for lack of the the right term but them tread carefully in this environment be a bit cautious i think that was the word i was looking for in terms of like things like the food and so on but i would love to see it explored a little bit more and i wonder if maybe they're saving that for something a bit bigger that we'll see come through you know because we've seen elements but so what are she 
Right. I see the point. It's the combination. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's yeah. It's them working together that makes the perfect dish. Like she's she's cooking. You know what I mean? She been in the kitchen, man. She know what she's talking about. That sounded horrible out of context for you guys. No, <laughs> what I meant. <laughs> Oh my <laughs> This guy rethinking life <laughs> Bro, he looks like he's about to cry man He's like what am I? <laughs> Who am I? Mm. That's why you got the subordinates man they are able to interpret what your actions really mean and they see the philosophy behind it, you know what I mean? That's why it kind of aligns with your approach. Let's go, Shuna! I love that she's been front and center this season, man. She really has shown as like a character. I feel like she's got like the most presence so far out of all of the um all um the ogres, like at least this season. Whereas like last season I feel like she it was like Shion season and first season it was kinda like Benny Maru season. It's almost like they're giving each one like a again a particular focus. So I'd like next season to be Soe actually. If we followed that kind of thread, it'd be dope. Yes, she is. Let's go. Ooh, so you martial arts tournament today? Or what? Oh, look, they're the kids. It's so weird seeing them without the, like, their uniform. Bro, why you got a moustache, man? <laughs> Come on, you got this. We gonna murk you. Ooh, we will protect ourselves. Yeah, you got you got to show an element of yeah you got to show an element of power. For sure, man. Is that the first time they've seen him transform like that? Because they're blown away by it. <laughs> it must be, right? Maybe they've never seen his slime form. Oh, look at this person. Yeah, she's going to be a problem. And she's definitely, she seems older than she actually is shown to be. Good speech, man. It's like a little rocky, but he landed it. And it ends. Aww. I was really enjoying it. I kind of didn't really want it to end. So it's sad that it has, but it was a great episode. I definitely enjoyed it. And I feel like I've got quite a bit I want to just quickly talk on. So yeah, let's get to the review portion of this. And let's dissect. So that was Slime with episode 19 of season three. I feel like we're gearing up for something big. Because, you know, I was expecting Yuki, obviously, to show face. We knew he was getting an invitation. But obviously, like I said in the episode, we open our doors for everyone. So we're now getting this other person who, again, has been conspiring. She's part of this wealthy family. He was also working with the Holy Church and everything else. Pardon me. 
she's made an appearance and she's here now and I feel like she's going to bring about a lot of trouble and also well, with your mind what he said about the merchants thing that was really curious because if he didn't recognize them even though he investigated it all seemed fine like is he really about that spy life like how well would he be able to discern if there was a problem do you know what I mean so I still feel like Whilst he was like, yeah, everything's fine, they wouldn't say that if there wasn't a reason attached. And Yuki, obviously, he has a connection to the Eastern merchants. It just makes sense for there, there to be some sort of ploy. Of, I don't know, man. It just, I don't trust it. I really don't. I feel like something's a miss. I feel like something's about to go down. Either way, I'm definitely excited here for it. So let me know what you guys thought. Let me know what your favorite moment was, because there was a lot. There definitely was. But drop those thoughts down in the comments. Of course, if you did enjoy the video, make sure to hit the like button. But if you're a new viewer, hit the subscribe button. Come join the beta gang. We're doing this on the weekly. I would love to have you part of the family. But for everyone else that has been showing that love, thanks as always. This, of course, has been your boy, Betty. And yeah, catch you guys in the next one.